So imagine this, you're out filming, you know, a group of potential clients go ahead and approach you, you chop it up, you know, you show them your work and everything. And then the next question that pops up is, do you have a website? You not having a website, you go ahead and show them your Instagram and they go ahead and look at you crazy. Listen guys, don't be that person. I was once that person, don't be that person. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why in this video. What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Cash Cut, back with another video and we got a special guest today, my son. Can you really call yourself an official business if you don't have a website? Listen guys, it's been plenty of times where clients have approached me and asked, oh, do you have a website? Do you have a website where I can see your work? And you know, I show, I send them three different links, my Facebook, my Instagram, and things like that. And they just look at me funny like, oh, I don't have an Instagram. Listen guys, I've been through this plenty of times and you know, this could potentially be the reason why your business is not picking up, why you're not establishing clients and why clients are not taking you serious. Having a website can definitely turn your business up in so many ways. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about those different ways in this video. So number one, the benefits of having a website is all your work is in one place. Um, for me personally, my photos, my videos, my booking, what, like my booking process where you could book me, uh, my contact information, client reviews, um, and things like that. Everything is on my website. So it's where people, if anybody asks about any of my services, I just send them that one link. Like I'm not sending them my Instagram, my Facebook, my phone number or anything like that. You're getting that one link and everything is gonna be right there. On your website, you can establish what you're about, have your packages, have your prices, and like I said, just really have everything in one spot to where you're not going back and forth with clients, you know, back and forth messages. Nine times out of 10, the clients that message me already have an idea of what's going on, how I'm doing my business, and what to expect, and what they already want. So by the time a client texts me, they already have their information and all of that and all i have to do is just call them back and then reach out and then you know send them to send them a contract or two number two like it looks professional having a website looks professional your business name.com it doesn't get more professional than that your business name.com like personally my my website is miracle vision photo video dot com photo film dot com my bad i don't even know my damn website MiracleVisionPhotoFilm.com. So having a website looks professional, guys. And going back to that is because not everybody has Instagram. I know it's 2023, everybody's on their phones, everybody's social media this, social media that. Listen, not everybody's on Instagram. And some people, the people that are on Instagram, you know, a lot of the times, especially wedding clients, um, the older clients, you know, people are only on Instagram just to connect with their families or look at their family pictures. So a lot of people are not on Instagram, you know, looking for business, looking for businesses to looking for business services and things like that. So you guys got to put that into play, put that into your head and really just get it out your head that everybody has social media because everybody doesn't have social media and everybody doesn't mess with social media like that. Another thing like with social media, why I don't like sending people my social media is you know, social media could get a little bit too personal. And, you know, with me personally, like sometimes I could post some personal things. Like I post a lot of my family and stuff like that. But, oh, excuse me, buddy. So yeah, I post a lot of like personal things and stuff like that. So the thing with that is, you know, sometimes your personal interests can, can, uh, can push away clients. And what I say about that is, you know, let's say you share something about, Let's say you share something about your views on, you know, certain subjects and topics and things like that. You know, let's say, you know, you have a potential client that's sitting there watching your Instagram stories and you end up, you know, resharing, you know, you didn't even make the post, you reshared something and that they don't agree with it and they just completely turned off of your business, man. That's why um, I don't really recommend just having Instagram because it could get a little bit too personal. But if you're one of those people that could keep a Instagram account strictly business, that's cool, but still have a website. Another thing about having a website is it says you're serious. And like I said, can I talk? Another thing about having a website is it says you're serious and you're a legit business. Um, it also gives people security, guys. Like in my business, in the wedding industry, 
a lot of it's a lot of scammers out there like believe it or not it's a lot of people out there scamming so you just having an instagram or you just having a basic a uh, link with the portfolio you know it's not really going to give that client that security that they need because they're going to want to see reviews they're going to want to talk to uh previous couples that you worked with and things like that and, and guys i'm all speaking from experience this is all happened to me people have definitely asked me oh can i can i speak with current brides and things like that um just keep it looking professional like even if you don't have a lot of work having a website is still gonna give get you that client like, trust me, I have, I, I started my website, I had like a couple photos, couple videos on there, you know, nothing crazy, nothing super duper to where it's like I portfolio, 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 mm, tongue twister, but um, nothing super crazy, and you know, I still locked in the client just based off, uh, you know, just having a little bit of work. Um, my first year doing weddings, I've only sent my clients one referral video, and I've booked plenty of weddings off that one referral video that same referral video I use to this day sometimes so it's like you don't have to have all this kind of work just make sure you have the quality work the best of the best sitting on your website you don't have to have everything on your website just have the best of the best on your website just for people to see and catch your, capture their attention another thing about having a website is it gives people 24 7 access to you and what you're about so like I said Going back to the first thing I said, you know, people have your contact information, you know, you could write, you could literally on your website, you could write what you're about, everything you're about, prices, things like that. So where clients don't have to keep calling you and asking you the same questions, and trust me, they're going to call you and ask you the same questions if you don't. And, you know, that's why you're going to want to eliminate that. You're going to want to eliminate time going back and forth with clients. Like, like I said, the clients that, you know, end up texting my phone already have an idea of what I'm about, what they want, and they're literally just texting me, telling me their details, I'm sending them a contract, and I'm locking it in then in there. All right, another big thing about websites is advertisements. Like, you could reach a wide range of people, you could reach a wider range of audience, you know, doing advertisements, and some of the type of advertisements that I run personally is um, Google Ads, um facebook ads facebook ads are really big for me and those are really like the only advertisements that i know right now and that i run but um you could definitely run advertisements and you know bring more uh bring more bring a wide range of people to your website you know from all around the world all around the country you know you don't have to be just in your city you know branch out branch out and the website is definitely going to help you branch out because i feel like instagram with the algorithm and everything you know, it's not really helping you branch out to a wider range of people in different cities and things like that. And I feel like it's most likely, you know, a circle of people, you know, locally and things like that. That's why I really don't push Instagram. I'll post on Instagram, but I'm not really pushing my Instagram and things like that because I got a website that I do all that on. So let's go ahead and talk about the different websites, platforms that you can actually start building your website on and the ones i'm going to mention are pretty simple i've looked at them and i've used some of them and you know one of them is called wix uh, another one is called squarespace squarespace i use personally we're going to talk a little bit about that squarespace i use personally um number two well number three actually is shopify shopify is good if you guys have uh products whether it's digital or you know physical products that you guys want to go ahead and sell uh, and then we have GoDaddy and WordPress, and I didn't really look too much into those, so I can't really tell you about those. But let's go ahead and talk about Squarespace, because Squarespace is what I use, and I literally made a website in like 15, 20 minutes, and you know, it was real simple for me. So Squarespace actually allows you to make, allows you to choose templates, templates, and it really makes making a website 10 times easier. Um, I recommend Squarespace for anybody that's really wants to just get into a website, make it real simple, real straight to the point, and you just want to have everything done by today. I would definitely look into Squarespace. You could add a store, uh, you got a shop, store, and everything. Um, I'll go ahead and send a link to Squarespace. Squarespace, if you guys want to go ahead and sponsor this video, you know, you talk to me, you can DM me, doing something. Having this website is definitely, it's definitely turned my business up. And, you know, I'm not going to recommend anything to you guys that I wouldn't do. So I would definitely, if you don't have a website, 
go ahead and get one now. Uh, Cause like I said, can you really call yourself an official business without a website? Cause I'm just wondering where is everybody booking you at? Where is everybody getting their information on your business at? Listen, go ahead and get that website because it's really gonna turn, turn you up and it's really gonna make clients tell clients that you're serious about your work. So if you guys don't have a website, you better go get one now. By the next video, if you guys don't have a website, I'm getting on your ass. For those of you that already have a website, man, you're already in the game. You're already in the door. Just keep pushing that website over Instagram. Uh, me personally, I never got booked off of Instagram. I've had a couple of people message me off of Instagram, like potential clients, but they never fell through with it. That's why I really don't push towards sending people my Instagram. So stop sending people your Instagram. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys, you know, go ahead and take this advice into consideration and really go ahead and turn your businesses up because 2023, we're not doing nothing but scaling our businesses and, you know, we're, we're just blowing up because 2024 is going to be a crazy year. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and leave a like, man. Comment. You guys commented like crazy on the last video. Let's keep this shit going, man. I love the interaction. I already told you guys. And man, shout out to my... Shout out to my special guest, my son, for not knocking anything over. He stayed in the room this whole time, which is crazy. I kind of yelled at him a couple times off camera, but it's between me and you. But anyway, guys, this has been your boy Cash Cut. I'm out.